Hello, my name is Min Ji Jeon from Team DMIS. I will explain our team semester drug synergy prediction using high performance computing and support vector regression. Here is our motivation. This melanoma patient had a mutation on BRAF, so he was treated with PRX4032 targeting BRAF mutation. The patient got better, but after 23 weeks, he had relapsed because of magnetization. We thought about what if the patient was treated with multiple drugs at the same time, and then what drug combination would be the best to cure the patient. That is why we participate um, AstraZeneca Singer Drug Combination Prediction Challenge and try to solve this problem. Using these given features, we make machine learning algorithms to predict synergy scores of a cell line and a drug combination. Observed effect of two drugs is some of additive effect and synergistic effect. Synergy score is the volume under the curve of synergistic effect. The challenge has three sub-problems. We could use all features to re predict synergy scores in sub-challenge 1A. But you are not allowed to use part of them, such as gene expression and monotherapy. Information is sub-challenge 1B. In sub-challenge 2, we should predict synergy effect of untrained drug combinations as binary. Bonus challenge is similar to sub-challenge 1A but it is about predicting poorly predicted drug combinations without using cell line IDs and drug IDs as features. We use around 6,000 samples in total. The main difficulty we faced was the high dimensionality problem of our feature space. Genomic features such as mutations and CMVs should be reduced to much smaller size. Therefore, we mainly focus on feature selection. To do this, we decided to reduce the feature size using biological knowledge. Now I'm going to explain which feature type and how to select part of them as feature group. For mutation, we use a novel literature-based approach. We search 200 genes that most frequently occur in the context of cancer in the literature. To do this, um, we and, uh, and use only the mutation in the 200 genes as the feature. To do this, we use the biomedical entity search tool called BEST. BEST gives more weights to the entities that co-occur more with the query term in more recent articles in more reputable journals. We queried best using the query term cancer and collected the top 200 cancer-related genes. We also use other gene sets for mutations such as cancer-related genes from GDSC and Borgestein's paper. Moreover, we also use target genes of given drugs. Therefore, we can make four feature groups for mutation using BAST, GDSC, Borgestein, and target genes. For copy number variation, we use the bioportal uh, to collect 13 gene sets of cancer-related pathways, such as P53 signaling pathway. It provided alternations such as homozygous deletion, hemizygous deletion, no change, gain, or high-level amplification. We utilize only homozygous deletion and high-level amplification for CMV features. For gene expression, we use um, C bioportals 13 gene set. C bioportal provided mRNA Z scores of the gene set, so we use uh, the C's course of genes in the gene sets are used for our gene expression features. For other cell line features, we use subtypes of cancer lines, cancer cell lines. 
basically the subtype is from disease area, but we divided the breast cancer into more specific um, types using ER, PR, and HER2 genes expressions. Single drug ID and drug combination IDs, and their targets were used as drug targets, drug features. These are some types of experimental features. Uh, the first one is IC50. IC50 means uh, the concentration where half of the maximum kill is obtained. EINF is maximum kill when a cell is treated with infinite amount of the drug. Maximum concentration is maximum dose of an experiment. IC50, EINF, and maximum concentration of drug A, drug B, and some and difference of them are features. Another experimental feature is drug sensitivity score called DSS. DSS is based on the integration of the area under the dose response curve as shown in the figure. It is quantitative information about the degree of drug efficacy in a given sample. Audition score is volume of additive effect of a drug combination on a cell line. Addition score summarizes um, additive drug dose response graph of a drug combination and a cell line. For other features, we read some articles and made synergistic drug combination rules as features. The main paper was written by Crafter. The paper says, RB2 overexpressed cell lines show synergistic effects when they are treated with RB and AKT targeting drugs. We then expanded the rule to other rules using our prior knowledge, such as AKT is a downstream of PICK, or RB2 and EGFR are family. We made four synergistic rules. Rule number one is when RB2 overexpressed breast cancer cell lines are treated with drug combination targeting RB and AKT, or RB and PIGK, the sample might show synergism. Rule number two replace RB of rule number one to ESR. The rule number three and four is the same way. Last, we generated extra feature used in collaborative phase. We tried other team's features in the phase and the expected synergy scores improved of the performance. Expected synergy scores are about median synergy scores of samples that share um, drug ID, drug combination ID, cell line ID, or drug target. These are all features we created for the challenge. We generated some features feature groups for feature types. There are four feature groups from mutation and 15 groups from gene expression. There are 44 groups in total. As we created various groups of features, we discovered that finding the best combination of feature groups was a necessary part. Then we decided to generate a pipeline for selecting best combination of feature groups. This is the how pipeline works. We had 44 feature groups in total and 25 hyperparameter candidates for a machine learning algorithm. For example, C and gamma for support factor regression. However, testing all com possible combination of feature groups and parameters would require a considerable amount of computing resources. There will be 17 trillion combinations for 44 feature groups. So we generated greedy feature group selection pipeline look like this. Default feature group for sub 1 a and 2 are cell line IDs and drug IDs. And drug uh, default feature groups for sub 1 b are drug IDs. 
For every iteration, the pipeline selects one of the feature groups and add it to the current feature group. Then machine learning algorithm run the model using the feature groups and predict synergy scores. Repeat this for the rest 41 feature groups. Then calculate um, impact of each feature group, compare the performance, and find the best feature group for improving the performance. Then update the selected feature groups. It iterates until no further improvement. For this pipeline, the total number of jobs is around 25,000, and execution time is more than 21 days in a four-core single machine. Therefore, we constructed a high-performance computing pipeline using HT Condor. HT Condor is an open-source high-throughput computing software framework for parallelization of computationally intensive tasks. Using 1,800 cores from Amazon Web Service, we finally select the best feature groups just in one hour. As a result, we chose super vector regression as our machine learning model. We developed the model using Python. To train, validate, and test our model, we divided given training set into our own sets. We excluded 10,089 samples for our test set and randomly divide the rest of the sample into train and validation sets for 10 times. Evaluation metric is called primary score in uh, for subchange 1A and 1B. The score is calculated by weighted average of correlation for each drug combination. The selected features are shown like this. For subchange 1B, we selected drug ID, target, mutation using best and GDSC gene sets. CMV of DNA damage response, RTK signaling family, PI3K, AKT, M2R signaling pathway, and telomere maintenance pathway set. We also can see that um, target mutation of bastion set and addition scores are commonly selected during the competition phase and bonus round and collaborative phase. As a result, we got 0.45 and 0.43 on subchange 1A, 1B. And we are ranked on fourth out of 76 teams and tied second out of 62 teams in respective, respectively. We observed that mutation of best gene set, target, and addition score are commonly selected. We predicted 1A using only those common features, and the result is slightly worse, but not that serious. As a result, we found that the mutation of best gene set, target, and addition score had most impact on the learning algorithm. We tried other methods for improving our performance. We applied one of the semi-supervised learning methods called self-training. The model trains, predicts, retrains by adding high confidence predictions and repeats. However, training set contained noisy samples and the training set size was small, so prediction mistake reinforced itself and this method failed to improve the performance. And we also tried deep, deep neural network. We made a deep neural network model using TensorFlow. However, we could not avoid overfitting due to the lack of data sets and the large number of features. Our SVR model showed a good performance on AZ data set. However, because our model represents features such as target and mutation as sparse binary vectors, it is not appropriate to apply to new data set with unseen cell lines and drugs. 
For translatability, we may learn a dense vector to capture and generalize characteristics of cell lines and drugs through neural encoding and construct a new a deep learning model which could utilize these vectors as input. In conclusion, among many machine learning algorithms, support vector regression was fast and robust. Literature-driven feature selection was effective. And high-performance computing pipeline was used to speed up model selection. This is the list of our lab members, thanks to Dream Challenge organizers and my professor, Jeo Kang. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.